Hello everyone, welcome to Google Cloud Level Up, the show where we show you hands-on how to build cool and interesting and useful things on Google Cloud. Today we have a fun episode. We have my friend Jerome here, who is going to be showing us a new Google Cloud service called Secret Manager. Welcome, Jerome. Hi, Marku. What is the Secret Manager? Well, the Secret Manager is a tool that allows you to store credentials, API keys, anything you don't want to be seen by other users that you can use in your code. Sweet. All right. So how do we use that? All right. So I'm going to show you how to do this by building a small App Engine application based on Node.js, which connects to a Cloud SQL instance. And we're going to use two versions, why that uses the traditional way of doing mm -hmm. by storing credentials in our configuration files, and how you would change the to actually use the Secrets Manager. So how does the Secret Manager work? So the Secret Manager is just a key value store. Mm -hmm. The key is the name of the secret, and the value is the actual piece of information that you want to hide. And that is the secret, yes. Yeah. That is the secret. So basically, your App Engine application is going to get the name of the secret and ask the API, please give me the actual value, value the secret value for that. So if you do development the proper way, you should have a project for uh, development, a project for staging, a project for production. So in your uh, development project, you will use a certain database for the staging, another one, and for production, another one. But the secrets are per project. Yeah. And you can use all the same app.yml for every project. Mm -hmm. This is something you can just cross off the list and never worry about. Beautiful. Let's get building. Let's see if my app is working. I'm going to deploy it. Is a gcloud app deploy. All right, so it's all set, so let's see if it works. Drum roll. All right, so first of all, I have here what the application looks like. It's a very simple application. It just shows you a page, and this page will uh, have a bunch of links. I think we have the same level of graphical design competency. <laughs> this is not my strongest suit. I, uh, I'm ready to admit that. So when I click on a link, it will actually query the database. And so for example, I want to know which clients in the database have a name that starts with A. So I click on A. So that's ex executing the SQL query. So I see all the people whose names start with A. All right, so let me show you the code. The code is very simple. This is uh, an express application in Node.js. And so, like almost every Express application, it starts with setting up a couple of pages, a home page that just says, hello, here's the link, and then an uh, other page that says, okay, so you gave me a letter, I'm going to find everybody starting with this letter, and I'm going to query the database. And it basically has a main function that connects to the database, and then waits for you to click, to be a bit uh, more clean, I separated the uh, database connection into its own file, right? So this is very simple. This is reading the connection parameters from environment variables. And how do they go to the environment variables? Typically by putting them in a configuration file called app.yml. And you can see that I have the database name, the user that is going to connect to the database, the password that the user uses, and the connection string to the database. Uh, and we're going to see how this changes later. So what is the typical problem why you wouldn't want to do this? You have access to the content of this YAML file from your App Engine dashboard. So anybody with access to the dashboard can actually see all my production database credentials and then can start hacking away. Yeah, that's a problem. That's the problem. So how do we fix this? By using the Secrets Manager. Mm -hmm. So there are several pieces to the puzzle. One is to enable the secret manager. The other one is to go to the secret manager and actually create the secrets. And the third one is to change the code. So how do we do that? First thing to do is to enable the API. I'm just going to find the secrets manager. There it is. I'm just going to enable it. Yep. This is pretty fast. How do you then secure the API access? How do we know that it's only your app who can actually call that secret? So we are going to have to allow my current App Engine service account to use the Secrets Manager. Yeah. How do I do this? 
I know you're going to ask. <laughs> I go to the IAM section. Yep. So basically, in App Engine, by default, all API calls are done by the, the default service account for the App Engine. Mm. And I'm going to add a new role, Secret Manager, Secret Accessor. Mm. You can see that you have admin and viewer. Yep. I'm just going to give it accessor. So this is updated. Now I can have code from my App Engine be able to call the API. Yep. Beautiful. So we're all set on the permission side. Now I need to go to the Secret Manager and create secrets. The Secret Manager is under Security here, Secret Manager. So I already have a few of them. Let's create the database name. So I'm going to call it Secret Database. And my database is called e-commerce. So you can see the name of the secret. Mm -hmm. And as an admin, I actually see the value. Secrets can have multiple versions. You can change the value of a secret over time, even though the name does not change. So you can rotate credentials. You can do a few things. All right, so I have a secret for the connection string, for the database name, for the password, for the user. So let's go and write the code. It's okay, going to take a few up. minutes. Cool. So that means we have time for coffee? We do. Oh, OK, let's go. A few moments later. All right, so I've changed all my code. I've created a little wrapper mm -hmm. to call the API. Let me show it to you. It's called GCP Secrets. This is a separate secret reader module. And it does two very important things. First, when you initialize it, it gets Google Cloud Secrets Manager and instantiate it. This SDK will make sure that it authenticates as your service account. Yeah, and it has like retransmissions, it has, back off, all these. It, yeah, and also uh, encryption. Yeah. So you should always use that. The other part that is really useful for us is this little URL. Given a secret, please give me the actual value. You need to build a URI for this uh, secret, which is pretty tricky. It is slash projects, slash the project ID, slash secrets, slash the name of your secrets, slash versions, and then slash the name of the version. By default, you can query the latest version, the most current. If you really need to, you can go back to a version by name. But by default, we use the latest one here. Most of the time, that's what you need. Now we do the client side, and the essential thing that is going to change is that this is, instead of having database e-commerce, it's going to be secret database. And it's going to be secret uh, app user, and so forth and so on. And I'm also going to add a piece of code to query the API. So let me show you. In the previous code, it would be this. Get the environment variable. Yep. But what we do today is that we actually get the environment variable and access the API and yep. get me the value. In my code here, the actual little bonus is that this is, these values are just in a closure. So they're going to be in the closure at the time of connection, and they're going to disappear. Mm -hmm. So they only stay in memory for a fraction of, okay. of time. They don't even stay in the app. All right, so now the rest is identical. We mm -hmm. query the database, so I can try to now deploy my new code. Let's try. So now you deploy a new version of the App Engine app, which will use the Secret Manager API calls. That's right, and it's live coding. so. <laughs> no safety net. All right, so let's see if this so is deployed. It is deployed. Let's see if it works. All right, we got something. Shall we try and see cool query if you click one of the links? Let's see. Uh, hey. There we go. It works. It works. So that's using the secret manager. I love it. I should start using it myself. Please do. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. All right. If you like this kind of content, if you like live coding and that occasionally works, please click the like button, then click the subscribe button to be notified of new episodes. Thank you very much and see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.